Welcome, chosen one. What is up, you filthy fricks? I hope you're doing well. Alright, I hope you're doing... At least okay. I'm alright. Uh, I'm a little bit... A little bit tired. It's been, uh, it's been a long... Uh, surprisingly productive day, and I am recording a little bit later than usual. Uh, but, uh, the deck that I will be showing you today, which, you know, it's Queen's Guard. I mean, you all know and love Queen's Guard, I hope. But, I mean, out of all decks that have ever existed in Gwent, this is the one I've played the most. This is the one I'm the most comfortable with. So, hopefully, the fact that I'm a little bit, a little bit extra relaxed, I guess you can say, to put it in positive terms, may not be too much of an issue. Now, yes, I have featured Queen's Guard several times, uh, but the deck actually has gone through what I believe is the most drastic changes that it has ever gone through between iterations. So, last time, you know, we were on the Devotion train, right? Uh, Skjordal being such a powerful Devotion card. Uh, Herald on Crate uh, in round three with the Devotion. I've actually gone away from Devotion uh, once again, and this, I believe, is definitely the best Queen's Guard list that I have played, and I have played a lot of different versions. Uh, this one has been tailored to what I like to call perfection, but it's Ace of Place perfection, so it's still, like, I don't know, 75% perfect. Uh, no more Blood Eagle. Blood Eagle at 12 provisions is just not worth it when you can get a Neuromancy for 13. It allows us to set up Crow Mother. It also gives us access to Triss, who is once again back in the deck. I did miss her, and she is always putting in some work. So, yeah, the biggest changes from last time. We are back to non-devotion. Triss is back. A Neuromancy is replacing Blood Eagle. Now we go down here. Um, Shield Maidens. Ceres is now very rarely used for Queen's Guard. Uh, she is now primarily a short round tool. I mean, for for a deck that is built around an engine, this deck has one of the best short rounds that I have ever had the pleasure of uh, experiencing. Um, you know, you use all but one leader charge, and then in the short round three, like you, you Ceres, you ping, you get the six strength bear. You get the three shield maidens. It's a massive play. And then with one alchemy card, uh, you get Chrome Mother back. Plus, I mean, usually it's a rest, so you get Chrome Mother. Plus, like a unit, either a Queen's Guard or the one of Uncrate Raiders that's in here. I really needed something a bit more, uh, you know, quick, quick, easy points, especially late in the game. Uh, for for Harold to bring back because it's not always advantageous to bring back a Queen's Guard because sometimes you just don't have enough time or enough pings uh, But Harold on an Oncrate Raider in round three is of course a very big play um, But of course Harold can bring back Queen's Guard and they can bring back a butcher if you already have a Queen's Guard and we're looking for triggers, so That is very nice. No more pirate ladies Terror crew plunderer I always mulligan these, like every time. So how this used to be was that these stunning blows were Terror Crew Plunderers, and then Honor Crate Raiders was an Alzer's Thunder. Just so Triss has a res option and a damage option. That's how I used to play her. That's how I play her now, and it's been working out pretty well. But I decided, you know what? I really want a Raiders in here, and I'm always mulliganing these. So two stunning blows. Plus one Raiders, you know, flip the provision of the the removal and, you know, the other card. Could we cut one Stunning Blow for at least one Plunder? Maybe, although I have not missed them uh, after making these changes. Uh, usually a Stunning Blow, a Stunning Blow at the right time will do a lot more than a Terra Crew Plunder, even at the best of times. We still have Butchers, Raging Bears, Sigvald, Harold, and our leader, 
to ping our Queen's Guards. And because we're now very much going for a short round 3 almost every match, uh, that we only need resources to fuel the Queen's Guards for, for one round and then maybe a little bit for a bleed. But really just one round, you know, round 1, we gotta go all out. We can spend almost every Queen's Guard related thing. And it's great. Alright. Monsters. I am not surprised. Yield and save me some time. I think the faction I run into the most is monsters. And it's usually this deck. So, yes. That is life now. No Queen's Guard. Okay. Queen's Guard. Actually a good hand. I'm going to stick with it. Well, I don't need to hit him until they reach four. So... Oh, I just played right into Maruna. I mean, there's not much I could have done to avoid it. Just do it. Or Striga. Okay, that's fine too. Parasite. Manticore. Manticore, yes. Crow Mother plays around Manticore, but then they're always going to hit that one third chance of drawing, of, of uh, Marooning the Crow Mother. My both your hearts and minds. Ah, he's alright. He is perfectly fine. I know I'm making the Thrive easier, but uh, the dream is to uh, to um, kill it in a couple of turns if he lives. she's going to take the first hit but then after that well I mean they're going to start taking hits that wasn't as good of a play as I had hoped um, I am not I'm not in a good state of mind right now uh, neighbors are are making some noises that I don't appreciate Which, I mean, I, I I mentioned it briefly a few times when it happens during videos. I'm very sensitive to, to noises and it just, it really gets to me. I, th I think there's been some, some trauma in the past. Uh, I'm obviously not traumatized by my neighbors right now. I'm just, it, just, it gets to me in, in a strange way. And yeah, I know I've uh, missed out there. Do I have any way of catching up? Maybe. I mean, I only need 10 points. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six warriors. Plus that, that's going to be ten. He's actually going to lose another one. So I, I may get away with this. 
Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. Try to shake it off. We're playing Queen's Guard, buddy. It's uh, it's great. It's definitely my favorite deck. Like that's, you know, and I played it quite a bit this season, and obviously in previous seasons. But I mean, this season, I've actually had several. Very nice play sessions with Queen's Guard, and I gotta say, it is definitely wow. I love Mulligans. It's definitely my favorite deck. You know, which does make it so that it, it really sucks when I can't enjoy it properly. Oh, look at you. Look at you with the larva. Oh, Maruna now would suck. And you know he has it. And I just gotta pray he takes the Queen's Guard. Caranth, they're on Maruna. No, Gills. Gills. Okay, he mulligan that. Come on, please hit Queen's Guard. Please hit the Queen's Guard. No, that would be too good, wouldn't it? Let's see, do I have a way to kind of tank the Frost in the front? Not really. I think for now, I'm just going to do that. And from here on out, like, for the next couple of turns, we have free Queen's Guards, unless he is able to kill it. Man, when the Frost Leader is so underwhelming puns semi-intended, that Overwhelming Hunger is still the preferred leader for Wild Hunt Frost decks. That, that's sad. But, you know, I will not blame the devs. I would much rather they make uh, a cool ability, because I think it's cool. Uh, that's a little bit underpowered, because then they can just buff it, instead of it being overpowered and people being annoyed at it. Here we go. Please, take this. Or this. Either one is fine. It was a smaller play. It ruins my carryover, but it was a smaller play, so... Let's just do it like this. The negative thing about uh, getting a free Queen's Guard is that I can't really use these pings, but it's not actually a negative thing because. Life moves on, of course. Yeah, you know what? Movement being relevant is nice. It is nice. Uh, I could go for the uh, the five point Drake. Well, nine point. No, yes, nine point Drake. For an eleven point turn, this far behind though. Ugh, I mean, I'm yeah. Once again, never gonna be able to catch up. Unless, of course, I burst out a little bit. Huh? She does still work. Now, th this can be used in a short round three, or it can be used to try to get your card back. 
Well, we got Auburn out. I would love... I mean, I'm gonna play this. This is not gonna be able to do much later. Uh, underwhelming Auburn. I think it's worth it for five extra points. Would you stop only hitting the armor? Oh god. I mean, it's not enough. So we get our card back, and I mean, honestly, I think that's fine. And the five extra points from leader would not have helped. Honestly, if it had spawned on ranged, it it would have been three extra points. It definitely wouldn't have helped. What we have, though, are pretty good cards. Well, we don't have Chromama. <laughs> connection lost uh, we have a good hand we have a good hand even without Saris we have a good short round hand does it beat haunt probably not I mean, it could. It could. We have big plays. And if he has a removal for this Queen's Guard, then he can't trigger his Haunt. Ooh, he can't even fully trigger the Haunt. Well, in that case, I am very confident. I would even go as far as to say it's a pretty done deal. Yes. I mean, considering the hand he got, like, if we had just, you know, stayed a card down and kept Ceres, like, that would have worked too. I went back to. Hey, oh my god, I increased my maximum MMR. <laughs> I'm not even gonna act like I care. I get the pro rank, and then, you know, it's. I have achieved everything that I could possibly want to achieve. Alright, there are probably some glaring misplays in that first match. Uh, because I was not quite present in the moment. Uh, I am feeling quite a bit better though. Imposter. There's no reason that should be extremely difficult. Hmm... Actually, with no res in hand, I probably should have just kept it. Because we have one Queen's Guard. One. Well, maybe he's playing a lock deck and a res wouldn't even have mattered. You know? No, it spies. And he's going to boost it. And I'm gonna try to get some removal. I mean, look at this prime removal target. You gotta go for it, buddy. It's such a good removal target. I'd rather he kill this. Courier. Is it Imposter Mill with Enforcers? I, I, I find that hard to believe. That is not what this is. That will try. That is not what this is. You know what? No, it's just Spies, but he has Cantarella. That's it. Yeah. 
Please don't get anything super good. No I knew it. I knew it. It, it. it had to be Harold. <sighs> well, I don't want these random pings hitting those. So I am just going to do it like that, and then I am going to... I'm going to throw down Sigvault. Uh, I don't know why he's hanging on to those charges. Maybe he's just waiting until he can finish off a of Queen's Guard. Or he's hoping to hit it now. And he did. Of course. I didn't know 1 in 5 meant 5 in 5. Oh, he's going all out. What are you getting now? So this one he didn't even set up, but he knows what it is. Okay, that's a four-point card. But he killed my queen's card. And I guess he's going for the kill on Sick Vault as well. Well, I got away with killing that. I kind of think we just need to drop Chromama and get ready to leave. Thirsty Dame. Okay. It's a big play for round one. Just going into poison territory, which, you know, of course he plays. That lets me play my bears for free. Oh, really? You? Oh my god, you had another poison. Well, he's already played coup de gras, so he doesn't actually need that. But it gives me... A way to do this without falling too far behind. So we don't have Ceres to catch up. Are you giving him spying? I know the truth. Yeah, somebody doesn't care. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna keep doing this just to keep the heals going. You know, I love Flaminica. I mean. It really takes a deck like this to, to play her successfully, but she's always good. In this deck, she is always good. Oh my god. How badly did you want this round, good sir? Leader and Fion. Now, of course, the very, very nice thing is that if he plays Damien, the only way we can kill Damien now is Raiders and Stunning Blow, which, you know, it, it's possible. I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna give it to him. He, uh... He sacrificed a lot to win that. You know, he, he deserves it. You know, we, we have a short run and a long run. It doesn't matter. God, I do sh I sure do love mulligans. Alright. Put a butcher in the yard. So, there's going to be a masquerade ball. That's not too bad. Uh, 
Yeah, that is definitely not bad. That's bad. That's not what I want, but it's fine. Okay. We got the blessing. Uh, we have a Triss off of a Neuromancy. For what? For a bear? We don't need her for removal. Is he playing? He's playing. No, that's from, from Fion. I, I don't know if he's playing any. Any cards himself. I'm sure we'll see. I wish you had Veil. As you are currently looking to be the biggest unit I'll have. It's still just a five. It's okay. Uh, I'm glad he didn't Vincent this, because he could have Vincented that. I gotta say, I, I have had mostly uh, a good bit of positive experiences with having just a little bit more removal in here. Of course, in the Devotion version, we have Skjordal. But, I mean, you know, he's bad in round one. He's okay in round two. I mean, he's pretty good in round two. But you really want to spend him in round three, you know? They just kill that, too. I mean, why not? I have the removal. <laughs> and I have one more. A lot of a lot of sneaky sneaky bitches have been trying to roll a Kahir. Um, I think it was Freddy who popularized it. Uh, but Kahir is bad against us for the same reason. Uh, Morkvark Heart of Terror is bad against us. That being, we do not boost. I mean, sure, yes. Uh, oh yeah, he has it. Uh, this would give quite a few boosts. Okay, yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. I think he, I think he realizes that that is not going to work out well for him. Look at this, the, the number. The number. It's it's going up. It's pretty good. Alright. One more. Is it gonna be NR? Shield wall. You know, I I, I thought I always thought that Queen's Guard would be good against this because, like, we don't go tall, so his the big shield at Ansei's doesn't do much. We don't have that much removal. We have some. And then, you know, we have a big short round blast. Do, do I keep? I don't think I keep. In round two, feel free to play him. In round one... I mean, even if you can set up a res target, it's still not that good. Because it's going to be damaged by two. And drawing into Chrome Mother is nice, because then we can near Mancy for probably Hound Snout, I would imagine. Although Sigvald would do. Sigvald often does. Now, I'm, I'm always curious to see, like, th they usually have the two boiling oils to help not brick Natalis. They rarely keep them in hand, but if they draw Amphibious Assault, they will often Natalis into it. 
Although, for now, it doesn't seem like that's something we need to fear. I'm tempted. I mean, he's going to boost it up now. Although, if he doesn't... I mean, he's got to. Dahlia for a drummer. And then he protects the drummer. It's very nice. I am going to grab... I think Sigwald. Uh, the Herald Skulls, wow. Mm. See, I was thinking about, you know, maybe just hoping for this to happen and then going for a decoction. There's Southkirk. You know, it's fine. It's gonna be big. But I say it is fine. I mean, what is he killing? Plenty of good targets. Taking Sigwald. That's okay. And yes, he does have a lot more than double our score. That is a problem. I am not going to lie to you. That is highly problematic. Good. And that's one duel and one shield out of them. Yeah. And as always, I'm going to be a card down. And against this deck, I unfortunately can't really bounce back from that. So, he's got one boost and one bleeding. That's going to happen before I get to pass. So that cancels out. So I need 10 points. Well, I need seven points. <laughs> yes. For a second there, I thought I messed up, but I did not. Now we are, I mean, he's going to have Assault now. I don't need this. I don't want that. that, I, that that's what I want. That's good. That's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want. Now, you know, I cannot go into a long round against all his engines, because they do outpower mine. And I committed a lot. There it is. It's very nice. Oh. You know what, I really don't mind him using Amphibious Assault that way. That 
that does not concern me that much. Uh, what do we have in terms of... I mean, that means he does not have removal. So I am kind of all in here. Um, I could go for a Triss. Visa go. Another battle. Another entry in the chronicle. Spend a charge, yeah. He is safe, but I'm glad that he doesn't know it. <laughs> Alright, so I don't want to play too many cards, although most of my plays here require me to play a lot of cards. <sighs> Which one is best? I kind of want to go for the Raiders, just to get them in the graveyard in case we get Harold. I'm very unsure. We're never going to be able to catch up now with this. I mean, it's it's not my job to catch up. My job is to prevent him from catching up. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, I have a pass. Should I take it? I mean, I've committed Harold now. Harold of the Houndy Snouts. <laughs> this is so bad. Am I really gonna do that? Yep. Yes, I am. Hit it. Oh, you had to hit the worst thing possible. That's nice. Do you really want to do that? You're giving me points. Like that is actually not going to gain him points for another two turns. I guess three turns. Uh, once again, I I have the pass. You know, I've made this mistake before, having these two cards left. Committing Drake, because I wanted to save Ceres, and then realizing, hmm, you know what, I'm going to push with all of it. And then I lost, only because of my sequencing. And you know what, looking at this hand. Spawn on melee, it didn't spawn on melee. Wait. Okay, we, we do still have room for one. Okay. So he, he can't bounce back with a massive Ansace. I mean, he, he can Ansace a 6, and you know what, that just... Okay, so he has two Ansaces. But he also has a couple of points there. Six points there. No Ansace. Why don't you just quit? Just pass. You don't have to show me every single piece of shit that you're doing. Okay, I was kind of scared he was going to use the leader charge there as well. You know, sometimes if you have big plays, you just got to go for it. 
And I guess NR doesn't always draw all of their golds. He didn't get Ansace, which... I mean, would it have made much of a difference? Not really, because he didn't, he didn't have, like, big targets. Like, if I had, like, super tall, greedy targets for him to Ansace, and he had had Ansace, you know, double Ansace even, then maybe... Uh, you know, I, I'd say that probably. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know there's been a lot of Skellige lately, but, I mean, honestly... You know, despite Skellige definitely having one of the more, you know, powerful, boring archetypes that do... That does see a lot of play. I also feel like Skellige has a lot of the best archetypes right now. Like, Queensguard... Uh, several other self-wound related decks. Uh, I even think Warriors is is kind of cool, but it's definitely not 100% my style in terms of power level. It's too good for me. But yeah, you have Druid decks, Beast decks to a lesser degree, but they do exist. Uh, but of course, you know. I had to do Queen's Guard. I, I was holding off on Queen's Guard until I hit Pro Rank with it. Obviously, that's not going to happen, so here you go. You're getting the video now. <laughs> uh, I guess technically this should have been yesterday's video, but, you know, shit happens. Shit happens. I, I'm a big fan of this version. Let me know what you thought about this version. Uh, it's definitely my favorite of all the different Queen's Guard variants I've played over the, I was going to say years, but it's more like months. Uh, I really enjoy it. Like it it has uh, it, it feels very consistent. I mean, there are some cases where you don't get a single source of Queen's Guard in round one, but as long as you get any any way to get a Queen's Guard and you know a res to bring it back or a second Queen's Guard, then the deck handles itself really well with several different draws. Like, there, there's, there's not a lot of cards that you have to have in round one, or you have to have in round three. Like, it's very flexible in that sense. Obviously, Chromama you want in round one. Herald on Crate, you do not want in round one, but he's fine any other round. Uh, same with Ceres, although she does work in round one. Uh, but you have Herald and Sigwald that are interchangeable. Like, the, the, the deck is very flexible. Like, you have, like, Sigwald and Herald do similar things. Flaminic and Dragmon do do similar things. So drawing either or both is good. And then you have like the Queen's Guard, the ways to trigger them. Like it This is by far the best version that I have been able to make uh, so far. And it, it does it does kind of make me happy that it's it's a non-devotional list because I love Triss. I love Triss, and you know, Chromama is such a big portion of this deck. She's such a big part of the deck. And just being able to have a neutral tutor instead of a faction specific warriors only tutor, it, it feels a lot better. I do really like it. I hope you like it too, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Uh, if you do end up playing some Queen's Guard, do let me know how it goes. Uh, we'd love to hear about some fun Queen's Guard stories. It's, it's it's just so fun. It's, <laughs> I know I've been very very negative towards like Ceres and Shield Maidens, uh, but I mean it's it's mostly the Lippy version because when you only do it once, it's fifteen points, and you know if you save it for round three or round two, like I usually do, like you don't get the thinning aspect of it. And you have bricks in your deck. And if you use it early, then, you know, you spent it early. If you spend uh, points like this in round one without having stupid Lippy to do it again, but better. It's actually committal, so I, I don't mind it here. I actually love it. It gives the deck such a strong short round. And, you know, we, we have good engines for a long round as well. Which helps us really push through round one. Dude, I, I could talk about Queen's Guard forever. Uh, I'm going to go now. <laughs> Sorry for, for holding you up there with my rambling. Have a good one.
and hope to see you again soon for something that is not Skellige, although I can't promise that Skellige won't be back soon. I do love Skellige. I mean, look at me. I am Skellige. I am it. I, as a person, am the faction. Bye. It, it is late. That's why I talk a lot. It is late. I'm a little bit woozy. Go! Click like and then leave. A comment. Leave a comment. <laughs>